in your life that you have been battling with, all you need to calm the storm is Jesus. about how Jesus calmed the storm. I hope you're ready for our story today. Are you ready? Yes, yes please, John! Yes, indeed, we are ready. And our Bible text for today is taken from Matthew chapter 8, from verse 23 to 27, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 41, Luke chapter 8, from verse 22 to 25. You can go through your Bibles. Go get your notepads, get your pens. Stay glued to your screen. When we come back, we'll begin our story. Stay with us. Key lessons for the day. What are the key lessons from how Jesus calmed the storm? One, Jesus calmed the storm should remind Christians that God has a solution for all the storms of life. Two, following Jesus will give you peace even in the midst of those storms. Three, Jesus calming the storm should bring great encouragement and hope for anyone facing a storm in life. Welcome back! Who's ready for our story today? Yeah! Okay, I see indeed you are ready! Alright, like I said, our story for today is about how Jesus calmed the storm. There's so much about this story that excites me! Okay, it wasn't a new thing for Jesus 
to be surrounded by a lot of people. You know why? Jesus was a teacher that many people wanted to listen to him. He was a teacher that taught people the word. What did he teach people? The, the word. word! Yes, and many people wanted to listen to him. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave an order that they should all go across to the other side of this lake. Then a scribe, who was also a teacher, came to Jesus and said, You're a teacher of the law. Wherever you go, I will follow you. And Jesus replied, guess what Jesus said to him? Do you know? No! Do you know? Your kids watching us at home. Jesus replied to the teacher, Foxes have holes and dens, and birds have nets, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus replied to him and said, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. And they sailed the boat out into the Sea of Galilee. Jesus was so tired that he got a cushion for a bed and he fell asleep. And so something happened. Christ love, do you know what happened? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I will tell you what happened. Do you know that most of the men on the boats most of Jesus' disciples were fishermen. So they understood and knew everything about the sea. They knew how the waves would be. They knew that how the boats would sail. They understood it very well. They were happy that the waters were calm and the sea was peaceful. They relaxed. They were all happy, having fun, talking and gisting. And they were gisting. Oh, Carrie, you look nice. We're sailing today, so this is going to be awesome. And then he lived, oh, Christ lied. You know, they remember when Jesus was talking? They were talking to themselves. <laughs> then, soon enough, something changed. Kids watching us at home, do you know what happened? I will tell you. The wind began to blow, and the waves pushed the boat around this way and that way and that way. It was moving because the wind and the waves were very boisterous. There was a boisterous wind, and soon it all turned into a very bad storm. The waves became so strong, and the water got into the boats. <gasps> Oh my! The waters got into the boat! I missed the chaos! Guess who was still sleeping? Jesus! 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 Jesus was sleeping! Even though there was trouble on the boat, Jesus was sleeping. Jesus was fast asleep. Well, we will take a break now, and when we come back from this time out with Davina, we will continue our story. I know you want more, right? Yeah! I'm itching to know where this ends. Okay, when we come back from this time out with Davina, we'll continue our story. What time is it? Yeah! What time is it? Yeah! Game time with Davina. We'll be back after this break. Five years on the hospital bed with a leg that was rotten. The only option was an amputation. 17 years of waiting, childlessness. She had given up on herself after several failed IVFs. She had written herself off. Having worked for several years of his life and lost everything, suicide for him was the only option. These and many more are the very inspiring testimonies that are coming to you in this very special season of Against All Odds from Lagos, Nigeria. And as you listen, as you watch, and as you follow through, it's a little while from now, you also will come seated on the champion seat. You will be saying to us, 
that this and this were the challenges that I have been through, but against all odds, I triumphed. Hello kids and welcome to Game Time! I'm Conte Corner, my name is Avina Kifodio and once again you are welcome to another exciting game segment here on Conte Corner. Today the name of our game is Who is in my boat? Can you guys say it? Who, Who is, is in my boat? boat? As you guys can see we are already in our game position so this is how our game is going to run. Gregory is on the outside of the boat. They are going to go around in a circle singing the song for the day and when they stop they will hide someone from their boat inside in the middle gregory will have to guess whoever it is that is hidden and after that someone he can go back in someone comes out and then we keep guessing who is in the boat do you guys get it yeah so should we start our game yeah okay so let's go you can start it Love. Correct. Around the house of very good. Good one. Okay. Now, get it all come out. You guys don't need it. Okay, repeat the cycle. Jesus spoke to the wind, the wind was calm. Jesus spoke to the sun, the sun was still. The wind that sees a baby, the one who walks on water. What a mighty God he is. Jesus spoke to the wind, the wind was calm. Jesus spoke to the sun, the sun was still. The sweet that sees a baby, the one who was a water. What a mighty God he is. Okay. Wow. He made it difficult. Okay, who is it? Furnaces. Furnaces, a round of applause for her. And special shout for all of you. Roll it, roll it, roll it, and let it go. You are mega, mega superstars. Yes, you are mega, mega superstars. Congratulations to you guys on your game today. You guys have had fun, right? Yeah! Kids at home, I'm sure you've had fun as well. Now it's time for us to move into our drama. Then Miss Joy would come back to complete her story. Stay tuned. <sighs> Joy, you look worried. Anything in matter. I don't even know where to start. Well, I'm all ears. Tomorrow is the last day of the art competition and the art piece I wanted to submit at my entry has been How? Some of my younger cousins were around and they saw it and treated it like what they thought. Oh, wow, but you could try and fix it. It's beyond fixing and if I decide to start a new one, I'll have to work on something much simpler to meet up with the deadline. This is a hurdle you can pass with the help of God. I'm so worried that starting something much simpler would be waste. You shouldn't be. Remember when Jesus calmed the storm? He was calm throughout the entire old view. What does this have to do with me? The storm in question is the art talk. Speak to it and do it, you'll see results. Thank you, Jessica. I'll take your advice and do just that. 
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that time out with Davina. I'm sure you did. And I hope you enjoyed the drama too. Now let's continue our story. The story is full of a lot of action. I'm so excited. So the storm became very violent that the men began to think that the boat will sink. They thought they might drown. Immediately, they ran to where Jesus was and they went to wake him up. Wake him up, wake him up. <laughs> and they began to say, Jesus, Jesus, don't you care that we drown? They asked Jesus. As Jesus woke up from the sleep, he saw the storm, but he was not afraid. Jesus is brave. Jesus is brave. He was not afraid of the storm. He looked at the wave and the water and said, Quiet! Shh. Yes, Jesus said to the storm and the wave, Be still! And guess what happened? The storm stopped! Yay! The storm stopped, saints. The water became calm. Yes, Phonesis. When Jesus was sleeping, didn't he know that they are going to drown? Well, they were not drowning. The storm was just so violent that you would think that they would drown immediately. Jesus looked at the disciples and he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Where is your faith? Ask them, Where is your faith? Say it with me. Where, Where is, is your faith? faith? Jesus asked the disciples, Where is your faith? The disciples were so amazed. Look with the surprised eyes. What's and they that? said to themselves, Jesus was the only man who could make even the storm obey him. Storms are very strong, but Jesus has power over the storm. Jesus was indeed the Son of God. Jesus was indeed who? The, the Son, Son of God. God. And this is the end of our story. You kids watching us from home, I hope you've been having an exciting time with us. And I hope you have learned something from our story today. Have you learned something? Yes, yes Miss John. Have you learned something? Yes, Miss John. So what did you learn from the story today? Ah, everyone, right? Okay, Gregory. I learned that with your faith, a storm can even obey you. With your faith, indeed, the storm can obey you. Yes, Karen. I learned that we should not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Jesus was not afraid of the storm. Yes, Vanessa. I learned that we should obey God in anything he says. We should obey God in anything he says. Wow. Yes, Saint. I learned that anything we say will happen. Yes, indeed. Anything we say will happen just like Jesus. He spoke to the wind and it obeyed him. Yes, Christ love. Yes, Christ. I learned that if we believe in Jesus, it will, anything is possible. If we believe in Jesus, anything indeed is possible. Yes, Anita. I learned that we shall have faith in God. Have faith in God, even as little as a mustard seed. Yes, Adesua. I learned that Jesus was a brave man. Jesus was a brave man. Yes, Gaduna. I learned that we should not be scared of anything, but we should we should not be scared of anything but have faith in God. Wow, you all have answered beautifully. And I hope you kids watching us from home have learned something as well. Send us a message telling us what you have learned from our story today. And we'll be glad to hear from you. Jesus Come the Storm teaches us to apply faith in all issues of life as our faith will surely produce desired results. I hope you've had as much fun as we've had today. Have you had too much fun? Yes! yes! Alright, so we'll come you with another exciting episode of Kanta Kana. Remember kids, you keep the world in your heart and in your mouth. Bye! Quiz for the week. 1. While Jesus was sleeping in a boat, what was happening all around him? 2. What did Jesus do to the storm when he woke up? 3. 
What happened to the storm when Jesus told it to stop? For when Jesus saw the storm, was he afraid? Yes or no? Send your answers to Kante Corner at lxp.tv.